The surge. Smallsy surgery. The surgery. This is Smallsy surgery. Turn it up. Smallsy surgery on Nova. Look at the people you bump into when you're in the other side of the world in London. Hello, Griff. Hi, Smallsy. Pleasure to meet you and see you're a real person. I know, in the flesh. I've I, seen you on the screen so many times. Describe what you're thinking, seeing me in the flesh. I'm is thinking, it, is it, wow. You, you know, it's like it's like a Tinder date, yeah, right? Yeah, it is. Right? It's like, it's like uh, uh, it's not what I signed up for. It's better than what I signed up for. Describe what you see. I'm seeing <laughs> it's more glowing. Great. Uh, I'm happy. You know what? For your name, you're actually taller. Thank you. You're oh, you a bigger it... stature than I thought okay. you'd be. Um, so you're saying fat. You're no, saying no, no, no. <laughs> just, 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 you know, tall, <laughs> commanding the room. That's what I like. Um, um, and a lovely smile. Thank you. You're you welcome. too. Thanks. All of the above. Thanks. Apart from the, 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 big, command, stature. the big stature. Because <laughs> she's sure. tiny. <laughs> um... Wow, where, where do I even start? Like with the like the last twelve months and blowing up and uh, also too, I guess like a I, I uh, hate using it, but a pandemic artist in the sense that yeah. really like released music for the first time while half the world was shut down. Yeah, um, what was that as a experience? Not that you would know anything else, but how was yeah, it? Yeah, it was strange looking back I look back at photos of this time last year I'm like wow that was a dark time but I was kind of just like plowing through it and releasing yeah. a lot of music but um it's actually been around a year since I released my mixtape and the Brits happened and everything and um yeah it was I think what was good about it is that I was sheltered a little bit like I was doing all these interviews I was talking to like people like you in Australia but I was still in my room so I don't think I really felt the effect of it really no very easy yeah start really nice. to your career in the, <laughs> yeah. se- in the sense that like yeah. jet lag what jet lag no no I'm literally just Home. Yeah, it wasn't like Everyone I was just Everyone says promo's around. awful. Exactly. This is great. I'm just sitting there and I someone know. else manages into the room. Honestly, five minutes before our interviews on Zoom, I was definitely asleep. It wasn't yeah. too bad. No, yeah. I probably, I think I may have woken you up for <laughs> yeah, one of those interviews. Yeah. I'm like, where are you? She's like, I'm in my room. <laughs> in my room. Okay, yep, no, yeah, you've just woken up <laughs> yeah. because of time zones. Um, but now the real fun starts. Yeah. Uh, you get to tour the world. Yes. You get to be jet lagged. Yes. Yeah. I've just come back from tour. How was that? Yeah, I did like a few months with Dua Lipa on tour, which yeah. is it's not a bad start to the not year. Not a at bad all. start no, at all. Really where, where did the shows take you? Where did you do? Where did you see? We... Do you have any memories, or is it all like a blur into one? Because a lot of tour days are yeah. like repeats of the day before. Yeah, it is Groundhog Day on tour. Uh, we did all of Europe, yep. so we saw a lot of it. We did all the we started off with the UK, then we went to like Paris and Italy and Germany and. All the rest of it, but yeah, it was definitely a bit of a blur. But no amazing. sightseeing allowed, right? You don't. Do get you know what? I oh. saw a little bit, like okay. not loads, but there were good days off between. Because her show's so big, there weren't that too many back to backs. Yep. You've got to take the whole thing show oh, to a new place. So take it down there were days off, which was nice. Oh, nice. You know. Um, and then you're about to do the the Ed tour too, right? I am. That's wild, Mr. Sheeran. Mr. Sheeran. Yeah. Uh, or as Macy Peters says, the man who rules with an iron fist. Uh, what? He's what? like he's very strict as her boss. <laughs> oh very yeah, strict. of course. Yes, <laughs> yeah, of stri- course. Very... I forgot he's her boss. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. he's the executive in charge. She's really the boss. We no, know it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, where's that? Where are you doing those shows with Ed? Uh, those are Germany and Switzerland. So that's for like two weeks, which is going to be fun. And the stadiums? Stadiums. I've never set foot in a stadium before. Okay. So I actually don't really know what to expect. Nothing like you've ever experienced in your life. No, I would it's gonna be so big. I mean, I'm watching Maisie do it at the moment, and yeah. I'm like, she's so small as a person already, and the fact that she's commanding that big old stadium, I'm like, that there's a big shoes to fill. They so. absolutely. Um, let's talk about you though, not about her. A uh, new song, Head on Fire, right? Yeah. Give us a four one one. Tell me everything I need to know. You, Sigrid. Okay. Uh, we met in the summer at a fashion show. And there were lots stylish. of fashiony people. Yeah, it was very are stylish. You a, you a, you're a style icon, Listen, right? I like She's think, style icon. I like to think I'm styly, but it was very fashiony. And I think me and Sigrid were just looking at each other as the only musicians. And like, <laughs> Going, this is not our yeah, room. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So we kind of bonded there and then got in the studio a few weeks later and wrote this song, Head on Fire. And then, I don't know, it kind of sat on both of our computers for a few months. Yeah. And then I think we were like, maybe this is good. and Maybe we should release it. And so we did. Nice. Yeah. Um, do you enjoy the fashion side? How did you end up at a fashion show? You get invited, right? Yeah, you kind of get invited. I love the fashion stuff. Because I'm, I just, if for people who are knowing, <laughs> you've bought this. 
It's not a dress. <laughs> it's it's, I don't, costume. What do you, is it a costume? We'll have to take a it's photo. A, You'll have it, to put it on, actually. And we'll have to take a photo sure, for people to see on Instagram. Happening. No, because uh, no, I don't want to call it a costume because the designer, and I don't know if it is designer or if it, it's just you found it at the, the pound shop. Yeah, it uh, could be both. Because... Someone that could be a work of art, and if I describe it as a costume, that's that is like the height of rudeness. It's okay. It's a student designer from London, actually. I'm thinking about maybe wearing it to Glastonbury. Yeah, really. Maybe. Yeah, it's an option. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, with something else though, right? <laughs> yeah, with something on Andy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Not yeah. a costume then if it's a student fashion designer. No, it's like a work design. Of art. A work of art. Exactly. It's a work of art. Exactly. There you go. I don't want to get you in trouble. I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> Um, Glastonbury's coming up, right? Yeah, soon. When, when, how many weeks? When is it? No, I'm not really sure. Two weeks or something? I think something? two weeks, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do the whole camp thing. No, you're not. I am. I'm going to do it. You're mad. I decided to do it. Everyone keeps saying Glastonbury is the best thing in the world, so I've just decided to... The only th- Okay, I've never done Glastonbury. Uh, only because it's cold. Yes. It's wet. Awful. Hey, the weather's pretty decent at the moment. Park. Is this decent to you? It's cold. It's not. Right now, you're going to tell me it's cold. Right now, ah. if you're in the shade outside, she's a little chilly. She's a little, but like if you're in the sun, if you're, you're in the sun, that's great. fine. I just want to because this I just is want to, a, this is a heat wave for the UK. I've been told. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, are yeah. like in their shorts, yeah, their yeah. pins are out. Yeah. Tops I'm off, like pims. tops are off. The parks are full of naked people. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm like, guys, it's only 21 degrees. Yeah, no, this is this is excellent for us. Um. Are you planning on coming to Australia anytime soon? Because this is winter <laughs> at home. Um, we're trying to make it happen at the end of the year. Actually. Okay, I know. Don't That's ha- exciting. Yeah, we're going to try and make it happen. What do you? What do you? Any? What, do you know what you're lining up, or is there anything in particular? Uh, or you sort of some shows? I don't want to prematurely pl- say no. things and then promise things that don't happen. But let's say around November time. I'm okay. Thinking. Yeah. I'll take that on board. Yeah, yeah. The, what I want to just quickly show you here is because I actually want you to understand okay. is that this is. When I when I people think I'm being outrageous about the weather here yeah, in the UK, okay. this was this morning. What time did I take the screenshot? Uh, like let's say seven thirty. Mm. Yep, seven thirty. It was fourteen degrees in London. Yeah, what mm. about it? Mm. That's oh, normal. That's normal, right? Yeah, it's a bit it's, cold, but it's warm up. No, it's like, okay, but that's, that's, that's who leaves the house at seven. Well, I was this Most morning. People. I was, yeah, <laughs> uh, but this is the mi- middle of summer. Yeah, that's right. This okay, like, yeah. middle of winter. At home in Australia, where yeah, I that's live, crazy. that it's, it's one degree that's warmer crazy. in the but middle also, of winter. Also, what you have to realise <laughs> is the UK doesn't have like aircon or anything. So even though like we're not built for the heat, so it does get I really do, hot. I do agree. Yeah, this country is not built. No, for have you air been on circulation. The tube yet? Yes, not built for <laughs> air circulation. Uh, crowded footpaths. No, I don't understand that. No, it's like, not built for it. Clearly, everyone walks around here. Why yeah. the pavement was never wider, I didn't quite understand. I, there's just no room. There, it, no, there isn't. No, is there? there's not. Um, and then no air conditioning. You're right. No, getting fresh air very difficult. Mike, I've just driven here. Actually, I've got a terrible, crappy little car. And you it drive yeah. in London. Yeah. It's a t- it's the worst car you've ever seen. Why um, would you have a nice car here? Well, Someone's exactly. Someone's always hitting it. Uh, some uh, well, I'm usually the one hitting <laughs> okay, someone, but it doesn't you. have any aircon in it, so I am quite hot. Well, it must be an old car. Yeah, it, it is. It's 2003, aircon. and I should maybe get a new one. But no, also, it's, we only get heat for like two weeks, so I just I swelter and I <laughs> cook for the two of weeks of the year. Yeah, put the window down. Exactly. Um, exactly. I, respect for driving in central London. Yeah. Like, do you have a, a park at your house? Uh, or do you actually, have to fight like fight for a spot in the street? I live, I, I live out in the country, so that's why I oh. drive. Yeah, so it takes me like an hour to come in. Is it nice in the countryside here? It's quiet. It's is pretty it, boring. Is it quiet? Yeah, it's just kind of Do you grass. get into central London and go, oh, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. a great vibe yeah, in here? Yeah, yeah, that's why I loved it as a kid. I'd like yeah. get the train in all the time because oh, nice. it's so boring where I am. Well, I'm manifesting you coming to Australia I'm coming. this year. I love that. I'm going to manifest it. I love it. I'm going to put my crystals out. I'm going to charge them for you. All the energies, all the things. If you bring that dress, it's going to happen, okay? Uh, I don't know what else we have to talk about because that was a chaotic chat. Sorry, that really did tangent. It was a lot of fun. (laughs) It was a lot of fun. Um, You're heaps of fun. I can't wait for you people in Australia to get to meet you and get to see you play live, all right? Thank you so much for having me. Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.